Hi, uh, welcome back to uh, AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today I'm going to talk uh, through Chapter 1, and this is a chapter review of all the uh, videos that I've made for Chapter 1 about number and algebra. And yeah, uh, I'm going to talk through all the facts and what uh, a lot of the tips that I give out and at last there will be an exam so yeah let's get started so we have learned quite a lot about math uh, during the first uh, chapter and most of them are basic uh, numbers and how to calculate things and so the first thing we've learned is how to manipulate numbers in the number system that we're familiar with and I say we're familiar with because there are a lot others uh, that aren't usually used and those are out of the topic so I'm not going to talk through them at all secondly we have learned how to simplify expressions and identify like terms and that is so useful for um, solving linear equations and uh, in the next chapter um, how to factorize numbers and that will be really helpful the third one is how to cross out numbers in a fraction crossing out can um, obviously make life a lot easier because you are removing things which we want to um, do as much as we can to prevent uh, confusions. So uh, crossing out is definitely an important method. Then we have learned how to solve linear equations. Linear equations, again, is really useful in daily lives of math and obviously it's going to be really helpful in the future. And after the linear equation, we'll go to quadratics and simultaneous equations. So if you aren't sure about linear, go back and check it. Uh, it's definitely going to be used. Number five will be uh, how to cross multiply. It is really helpful to know cross multiplying because it's so much quicker than the conventional way. And to be um, perfectly honest, cross multiply just compacts the whole thing you didn't need like four steps to do one equation you can use just one so that get, get you there so much quicker and save you a lot of time to check after the paper so it's a good thing to n know about number six will be how to break open brackets which is another way of simplifying that is um, useful and other than that, um, we have used some special um, cases like a plus b times a minus b, I think, have we? Uh, yeah. And so those are rules that is really important when you op open the bracket and as well create the bracket. And I'll explain that next video, uh, I promise. <laughs> So, number seven will be how to work with cert. Cert are used in a lot of play, uh, a lot of places such as uh, trigonometry, and even um, just normal fractions. So, if you know how to use cert, then it's definitely beneficial. Also, how to rationalize a fraction always, I mean, always comes up. So do revise for it. So these are um, eight of the, th or seven, yeah, seven of the things that I think it's important for this topic that you have to remember. Uh, definitely um, remember that percentage is out of hundred because that is <coughs> exactly what it is, and it's a fact that you have to remember. Also, um. <coughs> exams sometimes will give out a fraction that is bracket squared. It's actually easy to do for um because it's 
basically um, each of the term inside the uh, is being powered up so that is uh, one of the identities you need to know also um, <coughs> division can be turned into multiplication given a twist of the back uh, fraction and Krebs claw is useful for <coughs> opening brackets and I do recommend using it if you're not sure how to do that is um, root of a number times another root of another number will result in the root of them both multiplied which is demonstrated with this equation um, if a fraction is rooted in whole then it's basically mean everything in the fraction is rooted and <coughs> some questions do um, ask out of this kind of format and ask you to rationalize it then that's how you know what to look for uh, for the denominator for G um, it's the classic difference of two square equation so crucial that you must remember it even in GCSE you have to remember it it's so important and yeah that's all the tips and conclusion of this chapter so after all that it's time for an exam uh, there are seven questions and using all your skills learned from this chapter you should be able to do it perfectly and for seven questions I'm going to give you 10 minutes which sounds fair so in the count of five I'm going to announce the answer so pause the video right now if you want to five four three two one okay time's up and pens down answers are on the screen so have a check if you get 100% well done and that's it this is the end of chapter 1 um, algebra and well, numbers and algebra rather and I'll see you in the next part um, See, the next chapter will be Algebra 2 and we are going to start factorizing. So yeah, I'll see you next time.